So this is a quick video on how to laminate a trace onto a printed copper board for etching. The general idea is that you print your trace onto some sort of glossy paper like magazine paper. You need to use a laser printer because laser printer toner is made up largely of plastic and the plastic when printed onto the PCB won't get dissolved by the etchant. Next we melt that toner onto the copper board using either an iron or a hot roller laminator. Next we soak it in water to make the paper easily removable which is our final step. The first step is to print onto a piece of regular paper to see where the image is going to go. Then tape a piece of magazine paper or whatever you're using onto it and run it through the printer again. Once you've printed onto the magazine paper, peel it off and tape it face down onto the board you're going to etch onto. Tape one side underneath and leave a little bit of a lip on the other. This is a hot roller laminator. It will melt the toner onto the copper clad board. There are a set of gears inside of this that are controlling the speed of the roller. From the manufacturer, they're increasing the feed speed. I want this to take a long time going through to apply as much heat as I can, so I've inverted them causing a step down instead of a step up. You'll note that the tape is not firmly attached to the end, that way the roller will press it flat and I won't have any wrinkles or air bubbles in the print. The important feature about the laminator is the 5 mil setting because that's the setting you need for the PCB. I run through several times to ensure the toner is properly adhered to the board, though you could probably run less, that's up to you. Once you're comfortable with the lamination, put it in some water and let the paper soak. This will allow it to come off easily without potentially ripping up the lamination. Let it soak for several minutes, or in my case an hour because you forgot about it, won't hurt it any. Once it's soaked through, peel off the paper and rub the excess that's stuck on it with your thumb or something else. You can be fairly rough, the toner's not going to come off without some effort. You'll also want to look closely over the board and make sure there aren't any stray bits of toner that adhered somewhere else. If there are, use a Q-tip and a tiny bit of acetone, making sure not to get any on the traces, and clean off the specks. And there we have it, a toner transfer printed PCB ready for etching. We'll cover that in the next video.